Malachim Aleph, chapter 16. The word of Adonai came to Yehu, the son of Hanani, against Basha. I raised you up out of the dust and made you prince over my people Israel. But you have lived in the same way as Yarovam, and caused my people Israel to sin, so that their sinning has made me angry. Therefore I will sweep away Basha and his house completely. I will make your house like the house of Yarovam, the son of Navat. If someone from the line of Basha dies in the city, the dogs will eat him. If he dies in the countryside, the vultures will eat him. Other activities of Basha, his accomplishments and his power, are recorded in the annals of the kings of Israel. Basha slept with his ancestors, and Elah, his son, became king in his place. Through the prophet Yehu, the son of Hanani, the word of Adonai was proclaimed against Basha and his house, both because he did so much evil from Adonai's perspective, angering him with his actions, and becoming like the house of Yarovam, and because he killed Nadav. It was in the twenty-sixth year of Asa, the king of Yehuda, that Elah, the son of Basha, began his reign over all Israel in Tirzah, and he ruled for two years. His servant Zimri, commander of half of his chariots, plotted against him. Finally, one time when Elah was in Tirzah, drinking himself senseless in the house of Artza, administrator of the palace in Tirzah, Zimri entered, struck him down, and killed him. This was in the twenty-seventh year of Asa, king of Yehuda. Zimri then took Elah's place as king. At the beginning of his reign, as soon as he took over the throne, he killed off the entire house of Basha. He left not a single male, neither of his relatives nor of his friends. Thus Zimri eliminated all the house of Basha, in keeping with the word of Adonai spoken against Basha through Yehu the prophet. This word had been spoken because of all of Basha's sins and the sins of Elah his son, which they committed and with which they made Israel sin, thereby angering Adonai the God of Israel with their worthless idols. Other activities of Elah and all his accomplishments are recorded in the Annals of the Kings of Israel. It was in the twenty-seventh year of Asa, king of Yehuda, that Zimri ruled for seven days in Tirzah. At that time the army was besieging Yibton, which belonged to the Philistim. The troops in their camp heard it said that Zimri had plotted and killed the king, whereupon that same day there in the camp all Israel made Amri, commander of the army, king over Israel. Amri and all Israel with him withdrew from Gibton and besieged Tirzah. When Zimri saw that the city had been captured, he went into the citadel of the royal palace and burned down the royal palace over him so that he died. This came about because of the sins he committed in doing what was evil from Adonai's perspective. In living as Yarovam had lived and in sinning by making Israel sin, other activities of Zimri and his conspiracy are recorded in the annals of the kings of Israel. At this point, the people of Israel divided into two factions. Half of the people went after Tivni, the son of Ginat, to make him king, while the other half followed Omri. But the faction supporting Omri won out over that of Tivni, the son of Ginat. So Tivni died and Omri became king. It was in the 31st year of Asa, king of Yehuda, that Omri began his reign over Israel and he ruled for twelve years, six of them in Tirzah. He bought Mount Shamran from Shemer for 132 pounds of silver. On the mountain he built a city, which he named Shamran after Shemer, who had owned the mountain. Amri did what was evil from Adonai's perspective, outdoing all his predecessors in wickedness, for he lived entirely in the matter of Yarovam, the son of Nevat, committing the sins with which he made Israel sin thereby angering Adonai the God of Israel with their worthless idols. Other activities of Amri and the power he had demonstrated are recorded in the annals of the kings of Israel. Then Amri slept with his ancestors and was buried in Shamran, and Ahav his son became king in his place. It was in the thirty-eighth year of Asa king of Yehuda that Ahav the son of Amri began his rule over Israel. Ahav the son of Amri ruled twenty-two years over Israel in Shamran, Achav, the son of Amri, did what was evil from Adonai's perspective, outdoing all his predecessors in wickedness. But then, as if it had been a trifling thing for him to commit the sins of Yarovam, the son of Devat, he took as his wife Isabel, Jezebel, the daughter of Etbaal, the king of the Zidonim, 
and went and served Baal and worshipped him. He erected, erected an altar for Baal in the house of Baal, which he had built in Shamran. Achav also set up the Asherah. Indeed, Achav did more to anger Adonai the God of Israel than all the kings of Israel preceding him. It was during his time that he, El of Beatel, rebuilt Jericho, Jericho. He laid its founda foundation at the cost of his firstborn son, Aviram, and erected its gates at the cost of his youngest son, Saguv. This was in keeping with the word of Adonai spoken through Yehoshua, the son of Nun. End of Malachim, Aleph, chapter 16.